Question 1. What is WebDyne Pro? Answer. WebDyne Pro is standard SAP UI technology that allows you to develop web applications using graphical tools and development environment integrated with ABAP Workbench. Using graphical tools reduce the implementation effort and you can better reuse and maintain components in ABAP Workbench. 2. What are the different controller types in WebDyne Pro application? Answer. O component controller O custom controller O configuration controller O view controller O window controller. Question 3. What are the advantages of using WebDyne Pro? Answer. These are key benefits of using WebDyne Pro for developers in a BAP environment, or you can easily maintain and reuse components for development, or less implementation time as use of graphical tools, or you can easily change layout and navigation using graphical tools, or easy structure changes, or with use of data binding, you can use automatic data transport, or ease of integration in a BAP environment. O WebDyne Pro ABAP is same as WebDyne Pro Java as support same set of functions for the application development. Question 4. What are init events and in what sequence they are triggered in WebDyne Pro? Answer. O W D D O I N I T of component controller O W D D O I N I T of window controller O W D D O I N I T of view controller. Question 5. What is the use of MVC programming model? Answer. WebDyne Pro applications are based on MVC model, whereas, O model, this allows the access to back-end data in a WebDyne Pro application, O view, this is used to ensure the representation of data in a web browser, O controller, this is used to control communication between model and view where it takes input from users and get the processor's data from model and displays the data in browser. Question 6. What is a view in WebDyne Pro application? Answer. Each WebDyne Pro application contains at least one view and it is used to define layout of a user interface. Each view consists of multiple user element and a controller and context. The controller is used to process user request and processing of data and context contains data to which elements of view are bound. Question 7. What is the use of inbound and outbound plugins? Answer. You can navigate between different views using inbound and outbound plugs. The inbound and outbound plugs are part of view controller and inbound plug defines the starting point of view and outbound plug tells the subsequent view to be called. Question 8. What components you can monitor using WebDyne Pro ABAP monitor? Answer. O session count or application count or CPU time or data. Question 9. How do you monitor a WebDyne Pro application? Answer. You can monitor WebDyne Pro application using a BAP monitor. Information is stored about WebDyne Pro application and is stored. You can view this information using T code RZ20. Question 10. How can you manage errors and problems in DynePro application for specific users? Answer. Web DynePro Trace tool can be used for checking the errors and problems in DynePro application. You can activate Web DynePro Trace tool for a specific user. To activate Trace tool in SAP GE client, use T code. Question 11. What different administration tasks you have performed in DynePro? Answer. In Web DynePro ABAP administration, you can perform various administration tasks using different tools minus or ICM tracing or Web DynePro trace tool or browser tracing or logging or security. Question 12. What are the key features of ALV in WebDyne Pro? Answer. Oh, it support many properties of table element as it is based on WebDyne Pro table UI element. Oh, ALV output can be filtered, sorted or you can also apply calculations. Oh, user can perform application specific functions using UI elements in toolbar. Oh, this allows user to save setting in different views. Oh, you can also configure special areas above and below ALV output. Oh, you can define extent to which ALV ALV output can be edited. Question 13. What are the advantages of using view set? Answer. Below are few advantages of view set in designing an application. Or you can reuse views in a web Dyne Pro window. Or you can easily make changes to layout at later stage. Or more structured approach to use more than one view. 
Question 14. What is the use of WebDyne Pro window? Answer. In WebDyne Pro, window is used to use multiple views or view sets. A view can only be displayed when it is embedded in a view and a window always contain one or more views which are connected by navigation links. Each window contains inbound and outbound plugs and they can be included in navigation chain. Inbound plugs within a window led from the outbound plug of a view to the embedding window. Just like all other inbound plugs, they represent an event and thus call the event handler assigned to them. Question 15. How do you manage communication between different controllers? Answer. You can create events to enable communication between controllers. You can allow one controller to trigger events in different controller. All events that you create in component controller they are available in component. Question 16. What is global and local controller in WebDyne Pro? Answer. In global controller, the data declared in this can be accessed by all views and window in that component. View controller is a local controller for that view and can't be accessed by other controllers. Question 17. How do you call a WebDyne Pro application? Answer. In a WebDyne Pro application, component window has an inbound plug. This inbound plug can have parameters, which have to be specified as URL parameters. Default values that are overwritten by the URL parameters can be set in the application for these parameters. If neither a default value nor a URL parameter is specified, a runtime error is triggered. Question 18. What is a faceless component? Answer. Faceless components in WebDyne Pro doesn't contain any graphical components, no views or no windows. It only contains a component controller and you can add an additional custom controller. Question 19. What is the use of interactive forms? Answer. You can create forms based on Adobe software and can use in context for WebDyne Pro user interfaces. You can integrate Adobe Lifecycle Development Tool with ABAP Editor to ease the development of user interface. Interactive forms using Adobe software allows you to create efficiently and easy development of UI elements. Question 20. Why do we use faceless component? Answer. Faceless components are specifically used for receiving and structuring the data. Faceless components can be embedded to other components using component usage and you can supply the required data to these components.